Okay. Don't go flying off the handle. You gave this promotion to Bob Enright instead of me. I've got five years seniority over him. I know that. I mean, for Christ's sake, I trained him. I know that, but you see the company failed. Oh, the company. Bullshit. It's your decision. You promoted him. You tell me why. Well, you see, in the first place, Bob does have a college degree. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. While he's away at college, getting his precious useless degree, I'm working my butt off for this company. And in the second place, he does have a family to support. And I don't? What does that have to do with anything? All right, look, Violet. My hands are tied here. The company needs a man in his position. I mean, clients would rather deal with men when it comes to figures. Oh, That's now all. we're getting at it. I lose this promotion because of some idiot prejudice. The boys in the club are threatened, and you're intimidated by any woman who won't sit uh, in the back of the bus. Spare me the women's lib crap. Look, I know how you feel, and I understand. You understand zilch. I understand I'm still the boss here. And I'll tell you something, darling, although you may be pretty valuable out there, you better get a hold of yourself because I'm not going to sit here and take <laughs> Get it, Dorley, get in here. Okay. I told you six weeks ago to have this chair fixed. Okay, I'm going to leave. But I'm going to tell you one thing before I go. Don't you ever refer to me as your girl again. What in God is you talking about? Dorley, what are we going to do about this chair? I'll tell you what I'm talking about. I'm no girl. I'm a woman. Do you hear me? I am not your wife or your mother or even your mistress. What? I am your employee. And as such, I expect to be treated equally with a little dignity and a little respect. What do you mean, mistress? Never mind, she just told us. Oh, come off it, Doralee. The whole company knows you two are having an affair. Who's been saying we're having an affair? Who's been saying it? He you? has. What? Violet, where are you going? I'm going to get drunk. So, you've been telling everybody I'm sleeping with you, huh? Well, that explains it. That's why they treat me like some dime store floozy. They think I'm screwing the boss. That's not it at all. And you understand. just love it, don't you? It gives you some sort of cheap thrill, like, like knocking over pencils, picking up papers. Thank you. Get your scummy hands it's off me. I get excited. Look, I've been straight with you from the moment I got here. I put up with your pinching and staring and chasing me around the desk because I need this job. But this is the last straw. Let's just sit down and talk about this. Look, I got a gut out there in my person. Up until now, I've been forgiving and forgetting because the way I was brought up. But I'll tell you one thing. If you ever say another bad word about me or make another indecent proposal, I'm going to get that gun of mine and I'm going to change you from a rooster to a hen in one shot. Don't think I can't do it. Need a drink, Roz. I'm taking the rest of the day off.